A lawyer for Amy Slayton is claiming that the star was indeed bitten by a camel before her arrest. She was arrested at the Tennessee Safari Park Zoo in Alamo on September 2nd on multiple charges of drug possession and child endangerment. She was taken into police custody after receiving treatment for the alleged camel bite in a hospital emergency room. Officers had responded to an emergency call about a zoo goer being bit by a camel. They were immediately overtaken by suspicious odors coming from the Slayton's car. Slayton and Brian Scott Lavorn, who was also arrested on Monday, were released on Tuesday after posting bond. Police had presumed that the pair had mushrooms and in their possession. What is she doing with mushrooms with kids around? Anyway, she got caught for it. Slayton's two sons, Gage, four, and Glenn, two, whom she shares with ex-husband Michael Halterman, have been present during the arrest and were subsequently released into the custody of another family member, which we'll find out here. I'll read another article. It is actually Tammy. An investigation with the Department of Child and Family Services is ongoing. So that's the initial, like, arrest and what she was arrested for and who she was arrested with. This guy who looks like he's twice her age. It is kind of ridiculous it's like they told her that she had to take down her hair and it was up all day like oh you gotta take it down you can't keep it up it's a weird thing to be doing with kids in the car especially it's not like a family activity so it looks like amy's been having trouble in love as well because wasn't there another guy that was doing something right weird not long ago too someone that she was dating tammy picked up her sister's two young children after and what do you mean tammy picked up is tammy driving or maybe she had someone go with her after amy was taken into custody Monday. Amy's been released from police custody. Amy was released on a $10,000 bond on the afternoon of September 4th along with Brian Scott Lavorn. The two were picked up by Amy's brother Chris and were seen holding hands leaving the police custody said sources of course. <laughs> She's in love, guys. TMZ published a photograph Tuesday that shows Amy being treated on a stretcher by the EMS. People are taking pictures and sending it to TMZ. I've got a story for you. I'm gonna be famous. So there's the picture that TMZ published after Amy was bit by a camel. Officers responded to the scene, allegedly discovered what they believed to be mushrooms and what they believed to be marijuana. That's in quotes. So, I mean, it could have been like Delta and legal mushrooms, maybe, like who knows. But at the same time, you know, they probably shouldn't have been, if they lit anything up or recently smoked, they probably shouldn't have been doing that. But, well, police allege that after officers smelled coming from the car, they saw drugs out in plain sight and search the vehicle. So yeah, if it's out in plain sight, I wonder if they're recently using it or something. Tammy Slayton breaks her silence, it says, on Amy's arrest. So after Amy was supposedly bitten by a camel and then taken to jail for child neglect and child endangerment, but it says neglect here, possessing drugs, Tammy has remained quiet. Today, the star finally broke her silence after taking to Instagram to share an inspirational post. She's not really breaking her silence on her sister, really. Remember, setbacks don't define us. They fuel us keep going we're capable of greatness you can do this yeah not really anything about the arrest it's just kind of a damn he's posted well that was that's clickbait <laughs>